These coffee tables are anything but ordinary. They're the work of cutting edge artist Jakob Kulin. I pride myself in using a number of different materials. Um, it keeps things fresh and new. Jewelry was Jakob's first love. He mixed materials a lot in his jewelry design. Making the leap to sculpture and furniture wasn't that big of a stretch. Now I kind of consider much of my sculpture to be the jewelry of perhaps the building in which it's to be in. He works with a lot of reclaimed wood which scores him some eco points. Jakob likes the aged look of it. The wood that you're looking at isn't just identifiable as a beam that you might see it as, but it's got history to it. Jakob uses some high-powered toys to cut and shape the wood. Kids, don't try this at home. He bends smaller branches with wires that make them look like Robin Hood's bows. This sculpture uses some of those carved branches. It's called Willow One. The piece is a triptych, so all three pieces are designed to work together. The three pieces rely on one another to exist, to create that whole composition. Some lines the branches make go through more than one of the painted poplar frames. And check out the cool shadows that happen when light is directed at it. This piece, called Arch Cedar 2, took a lot of work. It's made of hundreds of individually cut cedar shingles glued and nailed together. The texture and the colors that are created when you stack these forms individually are very, to my eye, appealing. But then also when you take these three forms and you put them together, you create a whole different dynamic. It's the kind of piece that gets more interesting the more different ways you look at it. His furniture has the beauty of sculpture, but ups the ante because it has to work well too. There is a real interesting blend between this very hard-edged steel or glass and the softness of the wood, even though the wood is also very structural. Jakob's furniture style is inspired by Scandinavian design. It's not surprising since his mother is Danish. The longevity of the design, the clarity of the design, the simplicity of the design, the materials that are used, the way they are combined and put together, leather and white oak, and you know, is just wonderful. The wood in this table is reclaimed hemlock. The design seems simple, but guess again. Very kind of visually heavy on one side, very light on the other. This kind of a cantilevered, balanced look. Um, Obviously, the glass can't exist without the structure that's below it, and they all need each other to form this table. Jakob's ability to push himself in new directions makes him a New England dream house real find. I really like the idea of having to create something that is new, different, serves a purpose, of course, is well-balanced physically, but then also visually. 